New Haven neighborhood is getting pretty creative to try to help those without a place to call home, but it's all getting pushed back from the city. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live with the Mobile Newsroom to explain this unique plan. Matt. Hi there, Kara. Well, both sides agree addressing homelessness is important, but the city is saying folks need to follow the rules. Now, the issue is over six tiny homes that were set up in the backyard of two homes on Rosette Street in New Haven's Hill neighborhood earlier this month. Mark Colville, who started the Amistad Catholic Worker House, has been providing land and infrastructure behind his home for that encampment since June of 2022. Earlier this year, a group raised more than $120,000 to purchase and install those six tiny transitional housing units, which include heating and cooling along with electricity. But the city recently sent them a cease and desist letter saying the group went ahead and put up the homes before getting the proper zone and building approvals. We are raising up a solution to homelessness within the geography of this neighborhood. And we're just asking uh, for the mayor to partner with it. Now, coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 6, you're going to hear from the mayor with the city's response, along with a woman who's living in one of those tiny homes, about how this has been a game changer not only for her, but so many others. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3. Eyewitness News. Matt, thanks. And time to go town by town now with more news happening around our state. So here are three headlines from our partners at Patch. Starting in Southington, where a controversial housing development proposal is now on hold. The Planning and Zoning Commission pushed off this decision about the housing division on Woodruff Street until after the election. Neighbors say they don't want any more developments like this in their community. Now